Someone had posted a question about micro soldering regarding the angle that the board is in uh, position wise when you're trying to perform a repair in relation to the microscope, the soldering iron and so forth. So one of the issues that we run into is that if you're using a microscope like this, there's really no way to adjust the angle of the view. So you're stuck with whatever you can see of the board. And if you're using a traditional board holder or something like this, this is the Omnivice, these work out pretty well. The only thing is there's no way to really angle the board into a different position. Now I do like this because it's very sturdy. They weigh about three pounds a piece. Uh, they hold on really well and you can adjust the height on them. So the only issue again being that when you want to look at something kind of at an angle, it becomes very difficult with this combination. So I found this online and uh, it's an adjustable board holder. It's made by a company named Avon and I'll put the link for this and the Omnivice in the description below in case you want to check them out. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at this. So here's a closer look at the Omnivice. It is a very good tool for most jobs. You can take a board, put it right in between here and just screw this down and it locks it in pretty tight. Again, at weighing in at three pounds, this thing is really solid. It's not gonna move around even if somebody bumps into your desk, which hopefully they won't. And then you can adjust this thing on the side here and that will allow you to have a little bit of freedom as far as the height goes. Hopefully your microscope will adjust as well. And if you're kind of off by just a little bit, you can always move this about an inch or so up or down. So here's the package that it came in. Adjustable circuit board holder. The company's name is Avon and this is the 17010 model. Not sure that they have any other models. I didn't find any. But in any case, let's take a look at what's inside the box. So we've got the actual holder right here or a holder assembly if you want to call it that. And these two little black things on the top are where the board will end up sitting. And then we have two legs, I'm going to call them, down at the bottom for the base that have a couple of screws. So there's some minor assembly required. You will have to take out the two screws on either of these and then go ahead and put it all together. And you can see there are sets of screws in other positions and these are what lock the vise into position. So you can kind of slide it up and down on that middle rail until you get approximately the width that you're going to be working with and then you'll be able to make up the difference you'll see here with these grips that interface with the board itself. Coolest thing of all being that they rotate. So I went ahead and installed the legs on the bottom so we have a nice sturdy base to sit on. They're rubber so they do grip the table a bit and won't scratch into your work surface of course. And then we have these two tension controls at the bottom so that once you slide this thing into where you want it to be, you can stop it from sliding back and forth. And then of course, what you want to do is get it between these two grips at the top, bring it together before you tighten it up and that'll hold everything in place. And after you've done that, you have some additional tension controls that will prevent the board from slipping out from the grips. And coolest thing of all, you can rotate this thing into quite a few different positions. You're not going to be able to go 360, of course, but if you start set up at pretty close to where you want it to be, it does give you some freedom to move around there. And then, of course, you tighten things up and prevent it from spinning anymore. Now, I did notice that I had forgotten to put one of these in. So there are two on the top, two on the bottom. One is for uh, one, the bottom set, obviously, for adjusting the width of the stand. And then the ones at the top here are to adjust the tension on the grips that hold the board in place. So once you've got that where you want it to be, tighten these up, everything's going to sit nice and firm. The only thing I didn't understand completely is why they made the base out of metal but these blue parts are actually plastic. And then of course the grips here are made out of metal as well. That might be some sort of anti-static feature. I'm not sure, but I was really kind of surprised that they didn't just make the whole thing out of metal. So if I want to work on a charging port like this, the problem of course is I need to come in with the soldering iron from this angle, but underneath the microscope, what I'm going to see is the top view from straight down here. So what I'd really like to be able to do is come in this way and that way I can see what I'm doing. Uh, not to mention this is kind of an awkward board to work with in the first place. So what we're going to do is take this out. You can also see it's a water damage board. And we'll get the board holder. 
and get it roughly the distance that we think it's going to be when it matches up. And so you'll see that you have some tension here you can play with on the side. And of course these things are going to spin around and move until we tighten them up. But you can always adjust this by uh, loosening one of these screws, bring it closer or further away. Tighten this down when you think you're in about the right position. And since this one has flexibility on it, we'll go in from this side and just kind of pull it back until we get inside of the other end. And of course, if we don't have enough room to work with, we can always bring it out a little bit further. So now we'll reposition this, get it to be where we want it. And then once we tighten up these, this is going to lock it into place. And then that way it will be much easier to see what we're doing and see all the connections in the charging port down here while we're removing or replacing this component or any other for that matter. Overall, I find this to be very useful for micro soldering when you need to adjust the angle of the surface that you're working with. And for the price, it's a really good value. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button and share it with your friends. For more product reviews and repair tutorials, be sure to subscribe and visit us on the web at GoCellPhoneRepair.com. Thanks for watching.